Let's have a look at how to load, edit, configure and execute a ready architect solution. First of all, we're going to have a look at Ecovision Developer, how it works there. And then we're going to have a look at Ecovision Architect. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please have a look at the first video in this architect series, which uh, is explaining what an architect application and solution and so on is. So we're going to start right away opening Ecovision Developer. First thing you have to do is load the action library. So go to architect and choose open action library. Then navigate to that provided action library here in this directory and you simply have to open or select this action library folder. So not the files within that directory. What is in this action library folder? I'm quickly going to show it. What you have is this uh, DLX file. This is the action library. Then we do have some JPEGs, uh, which are uh, button icons that I have uh, attached to specific actions. And these separate XML files are separate actions belonging to that action library. So we have the action library DLX, we have JPEGs, which represent some buttons. Um, these are the separate actions. And then we have the rule set, right? Which is executed in the background and is connected to those actions. Let's select this action library, select folder. And then it opens an additional window here, the so-called analysis builder. And you see here, these sections here are different groups and each group has certain actions that belong to that group. And you can add actions to those groups. So you could click the plus button here and you see in this group we have one action and you can add it. And then it's added to that analysis builder workflow. And now the second one, let's have a look. We have four actions actually we simply can double click and add them all to our workflow. Last but not least, last group. So the whole thing is our action library. It combines all the separate defined actions and the actions are referring to the rule set that you see here in the process tree. First action here, Scale parameter press to execute. So this is referring actually, I can tell you that, to this create objects section. And what is simply done here is a multi-resolution segmentation with this scale parameter. And if you provide this action library to someone else and uh, you want them to follow a certain workflow actually. Um, so in my case, I can move those actions around, right? I can move classify what below clutter removal and remove some of those actions. So I, I'm very free here to reorganize uh, the workflow. You actually also can provide a so-called solution, which is a rule set plus the configuration. So the different settings that you've defined in the actions, for example, this scale parameter of 150, that's the configuration and that's stored also in the solution. So if you load a solution, it's going to take those values and fill it in and also uses the structure that was defined when you save the solution. So the order of the actions and again, the rule set is also saved in the solution. And how to load a solution? We do have one here. So first open action library. And now if you have a solu uh, solution, then you have to choose load solution. But that only makes sense if you already have an action library loaded. Load solution, it's in the same directory. It's called LCC solution, hit open. And then you're gonna see it's gonna rearrange the actions to the workflow that was defined in the solution. Right? And I'm gonna close the process tree and load the data and quickly show you what this solution does here. And you're also going to find this file in the data folder. It's just a subset of a set node 2. And now we can execute our solution here. So first it starts with create image objects. Press execute. And when you create such a solution here, such a, an action library, you can define those widgets here, 
which are again connected to the rule set in the background. In this case, there's not a lot of information. It just says scale parameter. You can define it and then hit press to execute. And what it does in the background, it executes that section where it applies the multi resolution segmentation. All right, so you could change the scale parameter here. Let's go for 250 press to execute and it, again it's gonna now use this scale parameter and execute in multi resolution segmentation which is defined in the background in the rule set. All right different objects let's go to the next step here classify vegetation and that's a very simple solution right so it's not perfect uh, it's just here to show you how it works. So what I'm using here is the NDVI select red select near band so it's layer 3 and four in my case, and then the mean NDVI threshold for classification. Let's set it to 0.25 and see what's going on in the background. See, that's vegetation now. I decrease it a bit, so we should get more vegetation actually. Yeah, and let's put it to 0.15 and say that's, that's uh, my threshold that I like. Next step is classify water. Again, in this case, I'm using the NDWI, so I'm calculating this in the background in the rule set. You have to select green and near. Press execute, and actually, what this does is it's classifying into water and other land cover. And uh, I can reduce it so we get more water, and less other. Right. Clutter removal, that's applying the minimum mapping unit and also applies a merge region. And yeah, that's simply how, how you can use such an action library. Manual classification. So now there's an option to manually improve the classification, right? This is water, this is water. Then finally, before the export, there's actually a smoothing applied and then you can export your results. So putting a complicated rule set into such an easy graphical user interface and easy workflow, that's the power of an architect application. And again, you don't have to alter the rule set, right? You can move the actions around and define the order here. And yeah, also remove, for example, clutter removal if you don't need it or the manual classification and define your own workflow based on the predefined actions of this action library. And now let's quickly have a look at the difference here comparing Ecognition Developer and Ecognition Architect because in Ecognition Developer, you have access to the rule set behind this application and you can alter the rule set and edit the actions. That's not possible with Ecognition Architect. In Architect, you only can load it and move the actions around and change the solution and the workflow, but you cannot create actions or alter the rule set or even see the rule set in the background. Let's display the rule set, open the process tree. So we are still here in Ignition Developer. And for example, <clears throat> the create image object action, this one is connected to this section. Yeah, create objects. So what happens here in this section? First, I delete image object, so I delete the level, and then this section here, communication with action. This one updates actually the variable that is defined in the action. So the scale parameter, this variable, is updated, and then it can be used in the multi-resolution segmentation as a scale parameter. And I'm going to explain that in detail in the third video of this series. So have a look at this one: how to create such an action library and how to set these things up. And I'm going to explain it there in detail. If I, for example, change here the segmentation to chessboard segmentation, and I'm using for object size the same variable, scale refers to the scale parameter value here. Hit OK. And now when I press execute again, it's going to do a chessboard segmentation and not a multi resolution segmentation. That is something you can do if you have Ecognition Developer and such an architect solution. So you can also have a look at the rule set and edit the rule set. If you have Ecognition Architect, you do not see the rule set at all, right? It also means that if you want to create such a solution, you need 
to have Ecognition Developer. If you have Ecognition Architect on the other side, you can play around with the solution itself and move those actions around and delete actions and you only can configure the actions, you cannot edit them. So you can configure the parameter, scale parameter for example here, but you cannot change the multi-resolution segmentation to a chessboard segmentation for example. Okay, how does it look like in eCognition Architect? Let's open it first. And in eCognition Architect, the workflow is exactly the same. Go to Architect, first open the action library. Again, simply select the folder and then we can open the respective solution and again loading a solution only makes sense if you have the action library loaded already here's the solution dax file open and now we have the workflow defined in the solution and all the actions defined in the action library and the rule set behind again here <clears throat> you don't have access to the rule set so we cannot have a look at the rule set you are bound to those actions and the widgets that were defined by the person that developed this solution within Ecognition Developer. Good. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is that if you store um, the solution within the action library folder, um, let's quickly do that, then you're actually able to load the action library and the solution in one go. So if you open then the action library and the solution is stored in the action library directory, it will automatically open the solution, right? So you have your workflow and not an empty analysis builder window. What you need to do if you wanna have the solution loaded already uh, when you open the action library, simply copy the solution file into the action library then edit the action library actually I'm using notepad um, so open it in a text editor and what you need to do is to define the name of the solution of your solution that you want to have loaded automatically here in our case that's Lancaster classification solution.dax save it and now let's have a look at architect that's also true for developer that now if I open the action library it automatically it automatically should load the solution and let's see if that works there we go so no need to additionally load the solution and then you have one folder you load the action library and then you get your predefined workflow here last but not least you also can create an app icon which appears when you start up Ecognition Developer or Ecognition Architect and then you can choose your architect application. If you want to have something like this you need to copy your action library into this directory here Ecognition Developer uh, bin applications and you're gonna have actually an application template that you can use if you want to do it for other applications. I do recommend uh, using this uh, template folder here um, and what you have to do is first of all rename the platform.asd.template uh, file to simply platform.asd so remove the dot template and yeah replace the solutions folder or put your solution into that folder so your action library with the solution and that's gonna do the trick. Um, in the platform ASD file you can open it with a text editor you actually can uh, change the name of your application and that's gonna be the name that's gonna uh, appear underneath the icon when you open eCognition architect or developer and you also could replace the icon uh, file right so simply copy another icon file in here and give it the same name as this icon.ico or change the name of the icon to be used in the platform ASD file and it doesn't have to be an ICO format, it also could be uh, ping or JPEG, for example. Um, I already created one for our land cover classification, I called it LCC. And here's the action library, so that's exactly what you saw previously with the solution in the action library directory. Um, we have an icon here, which is the icon of the app. We have the platform ASD, which is needed in order to run it properly and 
actually those two perspective files can be ignored. Uh, those define actually the layout of developer or architect, um, where the windows are and things like that. But you simply can remove those as those are not essential to getting this app started. Or even better, simply use the template that is available here in the application template and then go from there. And how does it look like if you copy that action library, this application into this directory? Um, for architect, it would be the same directory. Simply go for eCognition architect bin applications. It's the same there. And now when I open up eCognition developer, I'm gonna have two options. See it here rule set mode or my land cover classification. That's the very cool icon that I've created. Um, hit OK and then it will automatically load that action library. And again, the solution is in there. So yeah, I already have the workflow defined and yeah. That's the last thing I want to show you how you can open such a solution. And I quickly showed you how you can edit it in eCognition Developer and how you can configure it in eCognition Architect. Again, in eCognition Developer, you have access to the rule set and in Architect, you don't. And I also showed you how to execute it with those buttons that are predefined. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching and have a look at the other videos. And in our knowledge base, there are some solutions available. Let us know what you think. Have a great day and goodbye.